At air and seaports around the world, customs agents work non-stop to protect their countries from hidden invaders. Drugs, explosives, even food are high on the hit list and a constant source of concern. Agents are always looking for ways to improve their performance, and sometimes it comes in the unlikeliest of forms. A special breeding program by the Australian Customs Agency is doing what no one in the world has so far been able to achieve. John van der Loo is manager of the National Breeding and Development Centre in Melbourne. We've come up with a canine that is it's a Labrador for all intensive purposes, but it's quite different to the traditional Labrador that would would um, be in the show ring. It's quite different to the traditional Labrador that would be a fantastic family companion and come up with an animal that is still an excellent family companion, that still is, has the integrity of the general description of the breed, but has evolved a hunting skill, specifically in the intensive environments of the international airports and seaports, that to a degree is unprecedented in, in uh, previous availability. In the past, Australian Customs had to test around a thousand dogs to find that special one. Now, two out of every three dogs born to the program will serve their country. It's so successful that other countries are considering joining up to what Australia hopes will become a global gene bank. In many ways, you could, you could um, compare what we're trying to achieve with some of those challenges that are faced with endangered species. We have canines in insufficient numbers around the globe as human companions, but very few that have the ability to be high quality detector dogs. And through the selective breeding process, we've evolved this unique gene pool of animals that can be in danger of extinction unless we have multiple colonies around the world that we can share genetic variation and look together to enhance their ability to assist their communities. Pups are raised at the centre till around eight weeks of age and then fostered out for a year to give them more experience. Effectively what we do is impose minor stresses and variation of socialisation upon puppies from birth through to four or five months especially where they get a variety of circumstances, a variety of activities, noises, and interaction that they will evolve the adrenaline need to, to cope with a working life as animals. Daniel Strack is a dog handler at Melbourne's International Airport. Dan and his partner Major have just completed the last phase of training and now they're both ready to work. Dogs are trained to detect odours and receive further training as either a passive alert or active alert dog. Major's trained as a passive alert dog as opposed to an active alert dog. A passive alert dog will sit when he finds a narcotic odour. Obviously in a carousel area or an airport environment, a dog running around looking for stuff with an active response especially when there's little kids around. Um, it's not really what we're looking for. Um, the dogs not only are aesthetically good looking, but they're trained to respond in the appropriate way. So Major will sit when he finds an aquatic odour. Um, he won't scratch and bite like the other dogs are trained to. Handlers and their dogs are encouraged to form a close bond. And for Dan, it's a dream come true. This job is so good because you get to work with animals. I love working with, with animals. I've lived on a farm all my life. Uh, the sense of achievement, you, you, we're continually training these dogs every day. Every single run we, we take stats, we look at how the dog is working. Uh, and then to put that into practice and then to get the results, we find drugs almost every shift. Um, so just that sense of achievement. We train our dogs so, so well and then to see them actually come through with the goods is fantastic. Major, hey Major, what you got? What you got, hey? Uh, he's a three-year-old, three-and-a-half-year-old black Labrador retriever. 
he's very responsive. Uh, he's a beautiful looking dog. He's got a nice, big, strong, strong chest, big, solid head, uh, very fit, shiny. Uh, and he's just like, just like my best friend, really. Oh, boy, mate. That's a boy.